Hello everybody, today we will discuss about two-way repeated Magellan Nova in our software. Let's import our data. My data is in the form of CSV, which is found in desktop. Here is D is my data name. So, and again, here is warfare week 4 up to week 10 is the normal and the original data frame. But here is V1 up to V6 is added, but this is not our, our my objective. So, by tapping heading is equal to or heading to yes. So it will shift to our original data. So import in this way and go for analysis. And in order to run uh, two-way uh, repeated uh, measures on no binary studio, you have to use the uh, following package. That means the TDverse, TDPaper, and our statistics. So type this and submit your studio. As you see in our data frame, which starts from var industry week, which is wide format. So it is better to squeeze into the longer format. To do that, you have to use the following function. That means D is our data name and connect uh, again D with pipe, then Q is equal to time, value is equal to pH, that means a dependent variable, and week 4 up to week 10, and again convert the var, the time, and the per into factor. So type this and submit to our studio. Then let's check our uh, data frame. So by typing a star and write a data name, so var, fair and time are converted into factor from what they are. And if you want further uh, to do some summary statistics, especially if you want the mean and the standard deviation, you have to add this group by, group by fair and time. And here is the response variable, that means the pH. So type this and submit to your uh, studio. So in order to get summary statistics, yes their mean and the standard deviation are uh, displayed in the console part in this way furthermore if you want to create a box plot you have to use the dg box plot function d is our data name x is the time the y is the ph that means the uh, plant height and the, or the dependent variable the color is equal to the other factor that means the fur and the palette is jco type this one submit to our studio Let's see our box plot. Yes, let's run this box plot. Yes, as you see in the uh, box plot, which is started with week 10 and ends with week 8. So it uh, doesn't uh, uh, go in a sequential manner. So in order to uh, start from week 4 up to end with week 10, you have to use the following syntax. Here is this, our, data, our data name, and among select the time and uh, convert into factor then the factors we have to compose we start with week 4 week 6 week 8 and week 10 so if you type this the the time point will be arranged in a sequential manner let's see the difference so let's type this again yes as you see you started from week 4 and in this with week 10 so it is uh, good. And furthermore, you can also check the uh, assumption. The first assumption is outliers. So the outliers is you, to find outliers, you have to use the function identify outlier function. So here is this our data name, and also you have to categorize using the function group by fur and time, then identify outliers. That means pH is our dependent variable. So, so type this and submit to our studio. And over here in the week four, in the variety of bosses, the planted is measured around uh, 50.2, uh, 50 and week six in the Dagon variety 72, and week six at Cora, uh, which is uh, 75. And the outlier is yes, but here is there is no extreme value because is extreme is for for all. Uh, mentioned out there is false so we may not be afraid of any possible outliers that affect our uh, analysis and furthermore the second uh, one is the normality assumption so in order to do that you have to use the shapiro underscore test and again you have to indicate your data name connect then group by fur and the time and you have to use the shapiro underscore test and the plant head or the ph in the parenthesis so type this and submit to your studio yes 
when you're coming to the p-values all p-values are greater than 0 0.05 so there is no possible uh, effect in the normality that means all the uh, our data frame is normally distributed then again if you want to go with further analysis for the normality assumption and again you have to use the qq plot so in order to do that you have to use the ggqq plot function d is our data name ph is the response variable of the plant uh, height and you have to use the ggtm and here is you know, in order to create the grid you have to use this time as explained by fur or fertilizer and type this and submit to our studio so you will get uh, such type of uh, 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 plots. So, in all scenarios, uh, here is the time that means week four, week six, and uh, again week eight and week ten. So, in all uh, these plots, there is no uh, point that is uh, deviated from the reference line, or all are approximate or asymptote to the reference line. So, still there is no problem in the normality distribution and then again let's go to analysis in order to do that you have to assign any name that you want here and ANOVA test function I mean ANOVA, ANOVA underscore test function and indicate your data name data which calls to D and is the response variable is planted and uh, here is you have to indicate the ID that means the uh, variety and within that means fertilizer and time so type this and submit your studio so let's get the ANOVA result yes uh, the effect of fertilizer the effect of time has uh, have significant effect but while the interaction effect between the fertilizer and the time was not a significant or it's non significant as you see here is the p-value which is equal to 0 0.5 here is 0 0.00 something so the, their interaction effect is not significant so we have to go for their uh, simple effects only then uh, let's see the effect of fertilizer in each time point so to do that assign a name that you want here indicate your data name here and you have to categorize or group uh, you can create a group by time that means week four week 6, week 8, and week 10, then indicate here is a dependent variable is the planted, the ID is var within, that means the categorical factor is uh, fertilizer, then get ANOVA table, and the method of adjustment of p-value is Benferoni, so type this and submit to our studio. Yes, let's see the uh, effect of uh, fair or fertilizer at each time value. So as you see here is only the week four uh, and sorry only the week four and week eight are significant while the rest that means the week four and week ten are not significant. Let's see their pairwise comparison amongst uh, the, this is the effect of fertilizer or fur on the time point. So to do that give the any name that you want here i say this pairwise pairwise comparison and here is uh this my data name and i categorize using time then the pairwise t-test method i'm using here is ph is a plant date and then as explained by fertilizer paired which calls to true and adjustment is ben Fenor, Feroni. so type this and submit to our studio So let's run this uh, PC or the pairwise comparison. Yeah, uh, again, something is left, especially the asterisk is left. So uh, let's make this wider. So let's run again. Yeah, uh, week four and week 10 are not statistically significant, but here is week six and week eight are statistically significant then uh, let's see furthermore the effect of time uh, on the fertilizer value that means you have to assign a name that you want here indicate your data name and the group by is fur in the in the previous one is time 
and again within is here is uh, time and the uh, dependent variable here is ph and the id is uh, var so get ANOVA table and the adjustment method is ben Peroni. so ben Peroni. so type this and submit to our studio so let's uh, run this et yeah again here is uh, both the fertilizer was the fur for is for the fertilizer at 40, 46 kilogram and 62 kilogram are uh, statistically significant significant uh, furthermore we uh, we can create also the uh, pairwise comparison uh, between the time points so to do that again you have to indicate here is d is a data name and the group is by fur and you have to use a pairwise t-test method because it helps us to compare for two means and here is a plant as affected or as, as, as explained by time and do in similar fashion so type this and submit in order to get their pairwise comparison because both of uh, 46 and 62 kilograms are statistically significant so type this and submit to our studio yes for all parameters except for uh, fertilizer 62 at week uh, especially for fertilizer 62 at week uh, 10 and 8 is there is no statistical uh, significant difference but the rest are somehow highly significant somehow significant and uh, some are very very highly significant so by this way we can uh, get the pairwise comparison Furthermore, uh, we can also create individual uh, individual uh, effect. For example, if you want to study for the fertilizer effect, so you have to indicate here, here is your data name, D, then you have to use a pairwise t-test, then plant it as explained by uh, fer or fertilizer, and uh, do the same thing as, as described here. So type this and submit to our studio. Yeah, again, there is statistically significant difference for fertilizer and in similar fashion let's do for effect of time so and here is the difference is p as explained by time here is the p is as explained by fur so type this and submit to our studio yes all uh, weeks the pairwise comparison are statistically significant Moreover, let's create a box plot uh, and adding the p values to the box plots. So, in order to do that, you have to use the box plot, uh, you have to use your pairwise comparison, and x is which us to time. And the box plot, what you created before, box plot we created uh, here, don't add any name, but the box plot name here is this. So the box plot that you created before use that box plot and start p value manual and here is the pc the tip links which calls to zero hide non-significant result if you want to hide say it's true so non-significant result will not display in your box plot but i say here is false so it will display in our box plot and uh, you have to use a model what you create yx is don't forget we create in the analysis part yes yx is this so don't write any yx uh, on your uh, preference so type this and get detailed information from this value and also indicate here is the pairwise comparison so type this and submit to our studio sorry okay uh, let's run this before yeah let's run then uh, let's run for the second one yeah, so something is displayed here. But quite unfortunate, uh, in the week six, there is significant difference, and in the week eight, there is significant difference. But here is a p value is 0.52, so don't trust the box plot that it gives uh, that gives to you. Because uh, sometimes the p value is non significant, but the result is significant sometimes the p-value is significant and their mean separation is uh, 
significant. So always you have to trust these p uh, values. So this is all about uh, two-way repeated measure ANOVA. If you have any question, suggestion, and your valuable comment, please address using uh, this image. So thank you for watching and have a nice time for all of you. See you next time.